loves you, you will heal you. You hear me? God wants to heal you today. Mm. You understand? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, because your body is starting to give you problems. Mm -hmm. And I heard this thing started, it happens to your mom. Yes. Where it's true. she began to have problems with feet. And to my son as well. Even your son. He's now having a problem with the legs. Yeah, this is a generational case now. Mm -hmm. So this one is what? Is it your daughter? It's my daughter. This eh? Yes, it's my daughter. Can you see, daughter. you people, you are under attack. Mm -hmm. You people, you are under attack. Mm -hmm. Because you're, she's traumatized. Yes, she and is. She, yeah, because she's afraid you will die. Yes. This guy is afraid you will die. Mm -hmm. Because your feet here, look at your feet here. Yes. Look at the feet. Yes. Can you see? Yes. Can you see the feet here? Don't touch her. Can you see? Nobody's touching her, isn't it? Because you people here, if we touch you here, it's like we put something on you. Leave her. Don't touch your mom. So today, this woman is free. Rise up. Test your body, you feel it's light. Can, can you just walk with your feet? How do you feel? How do you feel, Mama? I'm feeling okay. I'm How feeling was your fine. Feet? They are fine. When I came here, I was having these knees. They were pain. They were but right giving now, pain. Yes, I can stretch it nicely. Did you tell anybody you are sick here? No, I didn't. Huh? I didn't. So that's why you sit forward. <laughs> that's why you sit forward. You just, you just want someone to see you very quick. Uh, uh, no. when, when you are healed now, you sit at the back. Thank you. Today is your day, Mama. God bless Thank you. you. And uh, even this boy is free now. Boy is free. Is free also. Everybody is free. Hmm. Because you know why God healed you by the prayers of this girl. Oh, she prays a lot. She's fasting every day. I don't know. She's not eating at home, this girl. I'm telling you, she's not eating. She's fasting. Ah, she's praying. I know that. I know that. Go, go will use. She's going to marry a pastor, this girl. You know, sometimes when I'm sick, I call her. I'll tell her, come and pray for me. The moment she finishes, I'll be healed. That's the thing that is happening. When this girl wants to marry, you must bring her to me. I'll do that. I'll do that, prophet. When, when you're a pastor, you marry a wrong person. It's very tough. It's very tough. When you're a pastor, you marry a wrong person. That wrong person work against you. So, imagine if I didn't have my wife here, what will happen to me? What about my children? What about issues of visions? I have to wake up and pray. You are all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganenisa. And with me here today is my family who were located by the man of God and he ministered upon their lives. Ma'am, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Lulu Nzongo. This is my daughter, Tami Nzongo, and Rufaro Nzongo. We stay in Kipla Park. Today, during the service, the men of God located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us in detail what the men of God said to you and please confirm it. Uh, the man of God said, I'm having problems with my legs. That is true. I'm having problems with my legs. And this problem is coming from my mother. My mother is having that problem as well. And my son is having that problem. Yes. 
And please tell us how long has this issue of your legs been affecting you and how long has it been happening? Mm, I think it's now something like 10 years having this problem and it, is re it was really affecting me because even in church I was not able to stand for a long time even during at my workplace yes I was not able to stand but my job requires me to stand and how do you feel after the man of God prayed for you today I felt light yeah I felt happy and I got healed I felt my knees my knees were then light Yes, then I was able to move nicely. When I came here, I was feeling heaviness in my knees. And I was feeling, you know, when you're having arthritis, you feel like the knees are clicking. There are bones that will be making some sounds. But soon after the prayer, that problem disappeared. I'm walking nicely and I can't feel that clicking of the knees, of the bones. Yeah. And what is it that you couldn't do before the man of God prayed for you that you can do now? Uh, walking, it was difficult. That's the thing that was happening to me. Even when I'm seated down, I'll be bending my knees and I'll be feeling the pain. So after being prayed for, when I sat down, I felt that my knees were not paining when I was folding them seated on the chair. What words of encouragement do you have for somebody who's currently facing what you faced before you received prayer from the man of God today? Okay, I can say is to trust in God and just to trust that your healing will come one day. Don't give up, just look up to the, up to the Lord.